Good morning guys, welcome to Beijing. I just did an overnight flight from London and uh, I'm feeling all right. I've got a couple of hours sleep. Managed to get a bit of breakfast even though I slept through breakfast because I found a banana on some guy's seat on my way out. Oh, I'm gonna head to my hotel now and uh, find out what the plan is. I'm meeting up with a bunch of other guys. Uh, if you haven't been following my vlogs, in a couple of days time, I'm flying from here to North Korea to start what could be one of the biggest adventures I've ever had. Guys, can I just say how epic this airport is? Look at this architecture. We've been to the hotel, we've met most of the team, and now me and Lane, Adam, and Josephine are heading to the Great Wall of China. Yes. Yes. Because we're here until tomorrow, we're heading off to North Korea tomorrow, so we thought, um, let's make the most of it. So guys, this is an article from two hours ago. North Korea said, US has crossed red line, declared war. I don't really know what this means, but. I wonder if that is the first time they've said that. I know there's always tension, but I think it's a bit more tension than usual. So that's interesting, hearing that the day before we fly in. And the only person I think that needs to worry here <laughs> is Lane. I was like, because guys, we should be worried, right? He's the only US he's citizen. He's from Sweden, he's from Canada, he's from the UK. I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh dear. We have arrived. We're going for a little bit of a walk now to get to the entrance. Me and Lane have bought um, skateboards, penny boards. Penny boards. I've got my nickel. So I haven't told you a lot today guys about the plan. Um, <laughs> basically there's two organisations we're out here with. One is Surfing the Nations and the other is Ride Nature. Ride Nature. And that's how I found out about this trip. Lane's done some trips with them before. He, I think, posted a Facebook status a few months ago saying, who wants to come to North Korea? I was like, yes, 100%. Let's do it. <laughs> so It's so crazy, but let's do it. So we're leaving tomorrow. I think our flight's about 2 p.m. Pyongyang. And like I said, we're making the most of our time in Beijing. So we're going on this little cable car up to the top of the Great Wall now. Dude, and the I've, toboggan looks so sick. Yeah, and see this down here? This oh is, my God. This is like a toboggan run. Oh, you can see some people down there now. Oh, I can't, don't, know if you, don't know if you can see down there. <laughs> I don't think this is a swap, bro. <laughs> This is seriously steep. <laughs> and it's like 30 degrees. I mean, you're tall, like. And very humid. <laughs> yeah, well, you can do double steps on this. Woo! What are you saying, Lane? It's great, it's good. <laughs> Cardio life, you know? <laughs> found this little perch on the edge. <laughs> like I said, the, vi the visibility isn't great today, but there she is, the Great Wall. Whew. This is that spot, you know? Boom. <laughs> when I was here in 2008, we actually found a, a guy who knew a secret way to part of the untouched part of the wall, which hadn't been renovated for tourists to go on. And we actually got dropped off, I think like five miles from this section and we walked all of this totally overgrown part of the wall. So this is the beginning of it and we can't actually get access from here. But um, yeah, this carries on for thousands of miles apparently. Just pretty insane. We're in business, I think the wall continues, you know what I'm saying? But you can't get around up there, right? Can you get out to the wall from up there, dude? Take a look. Oh. Right, we found this little uh, window that leads onto this ledge, which seems to go into a, a section of the wall which people aren't really walking on. But there's no signs anywhere saying we can't do it, so I think we're going to go for a little 
explore. Bro, this is so much better without tourists all over it. Just lower ourselves down. Here I get to, uh... Can you do this? <laughs> and then maybe get... Yeah. Put your foot somewhere. <laughs> yeah, What's I'm up, just guys? thinking how worth it is. Ni hao. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it! We made it, we got the whole squad up here. <laughs> the sign says go this way. Yeah. We got a few people watching though. Hopefully he's not going to tell on us. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. This is what they should have for, for the main tourist section. It's so much more legit. Do you know what I mean? Like, you feel like you're actually experiencing a part of the history in this section. Yeah, this is properly off the beaten track. Totally overgrown. This is like crazy overgrown, isn't it? Yeah, so this is definitely pretty quick though. Yeah, this is the backup wall. This just keeps going. Look, it's all hidden. You can see it all the way down there. If there is no smog. Guys, we just heard some guy shouting from over there and we're thinking maybe he saw us. We were just was not a tourist. We know? were standing on the tower, so probably very visible. <laughs> um, oh, I just hope we haven't gotten too much trouble, you know? Uh -oh. Just a little slap on the wrist. <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> we did Yeah, Sorry, we, we didn't we didn't know. We don't understand. We didn't this isn't what what? Yes bro. <laughs> so we we're back in, we're back in. Oh, yeah. so you do the great high fives, <laughs> high fives. We made it, guys. I've just pulled up Wikipedia. You are not going to believe this, but the Great Wall of China, in total with all of its branches, is over thirteen thousand miles long. So if we if we try to do a, an expedition one day and try to walk the whole length of the wall, let's do it. It would take us years, literally years. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Here's some more facts for you guys. It was built over 2,000 years ago. We calculated that distance I told you is like stretching halfway around the world if you laid it out end to end. And someone's estimated how many bricks were used. 3,873,000,000 individual bricks to build the whole wall. Okay. That is crazy. Does it say how long it took to 200 build? 200 BC it started. Uh, I'm guessing it took centuries to build. It took a couple years, you know. That is so years. nuts. Yeah. Hello. 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 Ni hao. Right, this is the way we came up, guys, on this cable car, and this is the way we're going down. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Lane? I'm gonna take the penny down the toboggan. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Do it, bro. Okay, can go. Yeah. No. Ah, uh, you said yeah. Yeah? Again? Yeah! No, 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 no! Yeah! Come on, come on! Yeah! Yeah! China! I'm going full. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready for this, bro? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Going hard. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. That was no. fast, bro. 
That was seriously Holy fast. Holy crap. That was seriously fast. Dude, we just fell on Oh my gosh. Morgan, dude, you crashed. Look at this. Dude, Look are at you this. okay? I went full Look force in you, dude. <laughs> oh, I got some serious skid burn China. over. Guys, that was, that was intense. That was the most intense tobogganing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Time to head back to Beijing. Ooh. We've had a shower, got changed, freshen up, because we were like very sweaty. Like very, very sweaty. Like very yeah, sweaty. Like and very. Now, now we're gonna go and uh, try and find the rest of the team for a little team meeting. This is, this is our first team meeting, but we can't find where Keyword it is. Keyword try. Uh, I don't there's, think no, so. there's no room 200. We, I don't think it's this way. Wow, this room is hard to find. This definitely wasn't room 200. This is room 3,242. Yeah, somebody... So, my name's Gabe. I'm from originally Maui. Yeah, I expect, uh, expect you all to have an amazing opportunity to experience a country that not a lot of people get to experience. Why do we have an a anti-North Korean mindset in the media? Well, the media is addicted to conflict. In fact, I don't even call it news media, I call it entertainment news media. <laughs> because that's really what it's about. It's about having one side against the other side. And that's why I don't watch the news anymore, because it's just ridiculous. And so you have to have one side, and that one side in this particular case is, you know, North Korea doing all, and they focus on the nuclear issue, and they focus on the uh, human rights issues. And not to say that those issues aren't important, but there's a much bigger picture of what's going on in North Korea, and they do ignore the rest of the story. So we've gone from quite a long briefing meeting to dinner together. It's like a family style dinner. Mm. I've got some spicy tofu though which I'm quite excited about. It's still cooking. Look at that. It's still cooking. Still cooking. Alright. Oh, nice. Right, we are back in our hotel after a pretty awesome day. It's pretty good, isn't it, Lane? Dude, it was a pretty good day, dude. It was. We, uh, dang, we did a lot. Was that all today? It was all today. We had some adventures on the Great Wall. We've done some team, a four-hour team meeting. I know a lot of stuff That's about this. <laughs> and t tomorrow's the day we're heading off. So this is the last vlog before I head off North Korea. I will be hopefully vlogging every day, so I'll be able to upload all of the vlogs from North Korea when I get back. Probably try and upload them like two a day. Um, and yeah, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be exciting. And I'll catch you guys then. Peace out. Enjoy life. And live the adventure. Boom.